Hey boys and girls, my name is Grace and today I'm sharing my testimony with you guys. I know that this week and last week you guys have been talking about Abraham and the story of Abraham and I think that's so cool because the story of Abraham actually has a very special place in our family um, because it's something that the Lord has often spoken to us through with regards to us moving around quite a bit as well. And today I want to tell you all about how God has been in my life when we've moved from country to country to country. So, first of all, growing up, I have lived in a lot of places. I have lived in about 13 homes and gone to like eight different schools and lived in four different countries. And it's been a big adventure. But it hasn't always been easy because, you know, you're leaving your friends and your family and your dogs and your puppies and everything that's familiar to you. And I remember when we first moved to New Zealand, I just missed my home so much. And I remember when we moved, the Lord actually asked me to leave my puppies behind. And I was so sad because I love my puppy so much. I don't know if you have a puppy that you just love. Well, that was my puppy. And I put a picture of him on here. And I used to have photo shoots of him. And he was like the model. Every time I got my camera out, it's like he would pose for the photo. And I had to leave him behind and all my special friends. And it was so hard leaving them. Because, you know, when God asks you to move countries, it's like you have to give up everything and anything that is familiar to you. And New Zealand is so different to South Africa because none of my family's here, new friends, new scenery, new views, and so it was a big deal. But one of the best things I learned when we moved is that the worst thing you can do is get angry and stressed and worried and fight God's plan. The best thing to do is to trust Him and to see it as an adventure. So what I just wanted to um, remind you guys of and encourage you with is just like for Abraham and even for me, moving countries, whether it be once or five times, can be so pressurizing and so scary when we try and do it in our own strength and when we try and weigh up everything on our own. But when we just just commit it all to God. In the Bible it says we must commit everything to the Lord and then we will live pleasantly in the land that He has given us. And so if you feel worried or nervous, the best thing that you can do is to see it as an adventure, to see it as an opportunity to learn something new and to surrender it to God. So you might not be asked by God to move countries, but for you it might be to go and greet a new friend or to give something up that you really love, whether it be your favorite chocolate bar that your brother really, really would love or whatever it may be, to, to see it as an adventure, to trust God and to follow what He is calling you to do. Because that's the best thing that you can do. What is faith? Faith is trusting and believing in what we don't see. So even though it might seem like a huge leap of faith, it's surely going to be an amazing adventure.